I am um, Dr. Bhattacharya. I am in the research faculty of this department that is in the department of otolaryngology and head and neck surgery and we are currently doing some study on the effect of UV radiation on the skin and our model, animal model right now is an animal called the hairless mouse. We are looking at uh, this computer monitor screen here. We have a section of the <coughs> mouse skin and that's a histological preparation of the mouse skin and what we have here is a high power image uh, of the skin which has been stained in a particular fashion. We wanted to reveal the two kinds of protein bundles which are inside the deeper layer of the skin. The very thin black fibers here, they run like a network. These are the elastic fibers and the pink areas which we have here, those are called the collagen bundles and in between them we have other kind of cellular elements. This is a section of the skin, so we have the top layer which is stained very black here, dense black. That is the superficial layer called epidermis and inside we have the deeper layer which is called dermis and we are trying to observe the behavior of these different kind of dermal elements when we treat these animals with UV radiation and different kind of resurfacing topical agents like creams and lotions and we use a very specialized kind of stain to reveal these fibers um, so that we can photograph them and we can quantitate, have a quantitative measure of these elastic fibers. So what we do is basically we try to um, take a slice of the tissue from the animal, we put it in some kind of solution, chemical solution which is called a fixative solution, then we process the tissue and ultimately we put them in paraffin blocks like this. You can see these red areas, these are actually the tissue. So we orient them in a particular plane in which we wanted to set, we want to section the tissue and then this whole thing we put it in a block holder and we put the block holder here in this machine and this is called the microtome machine. Microtome actually slices those tissue pieces and then in a warm water bath we stretch those paraffinized sections can see here one section particular one and then this is the first step and in the second step what we do is uh, by chemical treatment we remove the paraffin but the tissue remains attached and then next step is we take the tissue bring the slide here and we have here our all our staining solutions so we take the slide here so that there are different kind of staining solutions and they will stain the different components of the tissue with different colors. So usually what happens is that in the cell, for instance, the nucleus is classically, it is stained blue or black and the background is the cytoplasm of the cell which is stained pink or red. So all the tissue changes or the histologic changes or the pathologic changes you can see them under the microscope and interpret your experimental results. That's what we do here in the histology lab. Thank you.